Hello, Ron McCarthy here from Bowl and Break, and I am excited to be back in After Effects today with a really cool quick tip. Super simple, but it can really lift and speed up your workflow. We're going to be talking about how to use Venetian blinds and how it's maybe underutilized in your workflow, especially for kind of some aesthetic stuff, not just, you know, animation and transitions. OK, let's create a new comp, call it base underscore zero one. Create a new solid control Y, call that BG. Now create another solid on top of your black background. Maybe use kind of an off white here and in your effects panel, go to Venetian blinds and start the transition and you can change the width of your lines, which I recommend doing. So let's bring it maybe up to 85%. Keep the line width. Let's try 10, 15. Cool. Duplicate your Venetian blinds and you have this cool dotted grid like system. Now, the cool thing about this is if you bring up the width, you can see a complete change in kind of aesthetic and stuff which is very cool. If you change the transition again, you're getting some cool effects. OK, cool. For now, we're going to leave it at this. So both are at 50 percent. You know, we can change our aesthetic here. You can animate all this. We're going to pre compose our grid layer. Uh, Control Shift C, call this grid. On top of this pre composition, we're going to use block dissolve. We're going to turn off soft edges. We're going to put our block width to 10, our block height to 10. And then we're going to do a transition completion. Very quickly, you start to see a very cool glitch effect emerging. So we have this really cool glitch effect, you know, emerging. You'll have to add a little bit more to it. Just shows how quickly stuff can be created using just one effect, stacking it and trying it with other effects. OK, let's uh, make another comp and show another way of using Venetian blinds. Let's go for a BG of let's go for this kind of muted red and let's duplicate that comp and put a gradient onto our comp, a four color gradient. Let's not change this. You know, feel free to change it if you want to. But I am just showing how this is going to work and Venetian blinds, you guessed it, and just start increasing the transitional value. And you can already see this is quite cool. You have these really thin gradients and because some of the colors are quite close to that red, they blend in. Cool. So let's duplicate our Venetian blinds change our angle to 90. Maybe let's bring down our transition completion on that. And you can see these really nice kind of gradient dots appearing in the background, which is lovely. Let's bring that down to 70. Play with these values to your heart's content. Super simple. And our final look at a quick use of Venetian blinds is text. And maybe you can guess where I'm going to go with this. So we're going to go base three, create a solid black color. BG, uh, control T for your text. We're going to go with a nice basic aerial. Call this retro. Oh, yeah. We're going Sunset Boulevard, people. Um, go into your alignment. You guessed it. Venetian blinds. Bring the angle to 90. And here you go. Get some cool effects here. Yeah, if you duplicate this, you're going to get nice dots. If we duplicate it even again, you can get this glitz glam dotted sweep to have a third Venetian blinds that we could animate this. You know, we could have something very cool like animating the directional. Open up you toggle your keyframe to be a holding keyframe. Go into preview, uh, hold shift and go next frame for, to go 10 frames ahead. And then if you were to that, let's see what that looks like. And then if we press alt loop out loop out, continue, hold alt on your stopwatch and put in this very simple bit of script and you get this kind of cool effect by just using Venetian blinds. So I hope that helps you understand how one effect in After Effects, when just stacked creatively, can create different shapes, different looks. Um, please comment below. Thank you for watching and goodbye.